Hey guys, welcome back to our hey channel. So today we're uh, shooting a very random, sp uh, spontaneous uh, video as we just finished this tea and we're gonna do a video on the same tea. So That's the, right. <laughs> so a little bit background story is basically I was super stuffed after meal so I I kind of brewed up a tea that I think would really help me digest and and it I'm seems to <laughs> important information I so far I haven't told Phil what this tea is That's and it right. seemed to throw him off in a very interesting way okay we're doing the okay. video because I'm totally stumped okay we're like let's do a video about this so I'm putting myself out there so give me a thumbs up right away <laughs> sure all right so do you want to finish up okay because then I'm just gonna say <laughs> while you're at it hit the subscribe button click the notification bell so you'll know whenever we make spontaneous videos like this where I go ahead and try to you know I put myself out there I'm not an expert I'm getting there you know but I want to share the whole process with you so I think I'm being very generous and somewhat brave yes that's for sure like very brave I <laughs> know um, I'm really proud of you like uh, uh, never be afraid to make mistakes yeah that's we why I'm make doing mistakes it. as we learn right yeah. that's just the process yeah. and I think it would be quite fun for you guys to see this tea uh, mm. and I have to admit for myself because I knew what tea it is and um, but I'm still blown away by the taste mm. uh, anyways I think this will be a really really video. Let's get started. Let's get to it. Can I have the poker so I look pro? It's over there. Thanks. You gotta have a poker so you look pro. All right, dry leaf time. Okay, right, just to recall, mm -hmm. um, sort of the three things for but the three things that you have to look at to get the character or to understand the characteristics of a tea, right? The dry leaf, the liquor, and the brood leaf, okay? So check out our Sunday tea book. We are going through the um, birth of the six tea categories. Um, and anyway, so I'm looking at the dry leaf right now. What's this now? I get a really chocolatey I'm sorry about all the jiggle jiggle. Here, have a little bit. Really chocolatey. Okay, we already told you guys, it's our second round with this tea. We had this at the tea table too. And I remember the humid, like when we warm up the guy one. Well, I think maybe step one is don't jump. Don't jump. And just stay okay. focused on the leaves. Yeah. Despite all the other stuff you already know, but what- Right, right. Like, and it's sort of a pretty deep brown, a pretty deep brown, but not so deep. It's got a little bit of a grayish green hue as well. Mm -hmm. I've got some nice amount of leaf, pretty little. It's pretty little, mm -hmm. the leaf, and the amount of stem is low-ish, you know, almost not seeing much stem. So, yeah. Chocolatey sweet almost. Really nice dry leaf aroma. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Any guess? No, we no, no. We probably would do phase one guessing if you want to guess. Of oh. course, you can choose to pass. Phase two after we drink and for a while you can have no. phase two bath. Honestly, I wouldn't guess at this phase. Maybe okay. humid warmed up leaf. You'll I'll pass take, the guess. I'm gonna pass this guess, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just staring at the I'm tea. not used to this because he's usually super slow with this face. So I said, okay, this time I'm not going to put on the hot water. Guess what? He's very fast this time. So I'll yeah. get some hot water in. Let's get some, some hot water. Let's get this warmed up. Yeah. Mm. I'm just going to warm up the guy one. Really tasty. Okay, this was a really tasty tea. I really liked it. 
I'm and it very tastes interesting. very interesting. And the worst part is, mm -hmm. oh, sorry about that. The worst part is it's so familiar. It's really driving me nuts. So I want to give myself a few questions. I'm giving myself three questions that I can ask that aren't directly related to, to the, to the tea. Okay. So you have to answer these three questions honestly. I only have one. Honestly. I only have one prepared. Do I have an option to not answer honestly? No. <laughs> I don't know why. No, that's why I specified. Okay. See, you got to specify, folks. <laughs> have I had this tea before? This specific tea? No. Ooh, this is very interesting. We can have a little. No to the specific tea. May we can um, like make up a tea game. Okay, have that makes my next question easy. Okay. Have I had this tea, i.e. the name of the tea, before? Like, not just like, because this might be whatever year, whatever vintage yes. I haven't had. So she was thinking. Yes. So I'm going to write down slow think <laughs> and then yes. Because oh, that is getting really interesting. Only one question left. I'm going to save it. Let mm. me have a sniff. This is the warmed up. Mm. There's a new aroma. This is an interesting aroma and it took me a while to identify this one. To be able to identify this one, I mean, and it's the smell. This smells like an aged tea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is an aged tea. Okay. Okay. It, you can smell the age. So age took me a while to figure out what age smells and tastes like, but take the time to figure it out mm -hmm. because it's delicious. It's a nice, it is a flavor, right? I wouldn't say it's a mouth. It comes with mouthfeel, but it also comes with a yes, flavor and an aroma. And it's nice when it's nice, nicely aged, obviously right. it depends if it's like, but yeah, so aged. So we're dealing with an aged tea. I have not had this specific tea, but I have had this type of tea. Probably haven't had this aged tea before. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere and we're looking at these dark grayish with a ever so slight tinge of green leaf. I feel a little bit Chocolatey. uncomfy because I haven't sit here to brew in front of the video a bit. Right, but right. I'm I did the last I'm few. A little bit nervous. The like. reason I she asked me, do I, I want to brew? Yes. I specifically said no because I really want to focus in here. I want to. I got to take a bit of time and think and use my tools. Right, dry leaf liquor. Okay, liquor. Uh, dry leaf. Remember our, and if you go way back to Sunday tea book in China tea, right? It's not just dry leaf liquor, uh, brood leaf is what are you doing, right? You're doing, uh, um, th you're doing the, the sort of thing, right? Smell, look, um, what is it? Three smell, three look, three something. Anyway, it's, it's in our Sunday <laughs> tea book, but I really want to dig in and use all my senses and I'm going to crack this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to use all the tools. That's why I didn't want to brew. Cause I feel like when I'm brewing now, I'm also, sometimes it's helpful because you're trying to adjust your brew. So that dials you into the tea in a different way. This time I'm going to sit over here and just enjoy the perfect brewing of Ms. Lu. <laughs> I don't know if I can brew this. I, uh, I didn't have this tea before either. So this is my oh boy. second. Time. Now the smell of age is really okay. It's not a booming smell, but if I can say it's booming, then it's, it's like there. Yep. The chocolatey has given way to more of a, hope this is not in your way. Tobacco. -y. So I think if you saw our Instagram, right? I thought one of my first guesses was Yan Cha, rock tea, rock oolong. And it doesn't have that. Right? It it, I'm not crazy. Mineral. Oh, I feel good. It has a mineral note that really puts me back there again on the dry leaf. Mm -hmm. I can't say that I wouldn't guess that all over again. I feel like a brew the liquor. The liquor has more of a Yan Cha mineral to me mm -hmm. than the dry leaf. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Certainly the dry leaf, but the wet leaf starts to have that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. So you see, it's a golden amber. I would call that a interesting. I didn't pay attention on the first infusion last time. May I? Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to hold it up to the light a little bit. So the subsequent infusions were much more clear. This is surprisingly, and it was rinsed, correct? Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, um, there's a little fuzz in there. I'm taking notes. I don't want to forget any of these details. Wow, I'm a little bit shocked by that. I'm going to take a weird guess pretty soon, I think. I've been hesitating to make a certain guess because it's aged. It smells so good. It's clearer, it's fresher, huh? Mm. Than previous. A bit of sugary. Not quite sugary, malty more. Malty. Mmm, okay, okay, okay. I gotta dial in, folks. I gotta. I have to say, when I sip this tea, uh, especially the first, first, second infusions, like here, now I sip this again. He, like, you're not crazy to say Tianjin. Mm. You know what I mean? That was really one of my other guesses when we were first at the tea table, right? Yeah, the Tianjin flavor. Like, mm. if I don't see anything at all and just drink this tea, I would also go with Tianjin. Mm. It's, and especially the aged variety where the smoke is subdued. It's not a smoky... Just this infusion, right? Yeah. Yes. It's not smoky, but it is smoky. Yes. Like that uh, dry, not ashy, just a dry, gentle, smoky. Mm. But ashy is not bad to kind of help understand it. It's not, but it's in that direction, right? Yes. That's why I think I, that's the reason I think why I throw in the dry smoky. Mm. Just in the scale, it's not quite to the ashy side yet. And it's lovely. Mm. And in terms of sweetness in and the chocolate. liquor. Chocolate, but dry. Mm -hmm. Not sweet chocolate. Mm -hmm. If I had to describe it in terms of like a wine, this is a dry tea. Mm -hmm. It's not giving me pucker. It's not astringent, but it's... It's not sweet. It doesn't have the sweetness you can get in a, in not this tea. <laughs> ah, so interesting. It does have that uh, astringent uh, stuff. I so, really wonder. Okay. You want to do a phase one guess? Well, I'm going to throw out, okay, it's nice to see the leaf opening up. So the, I described it as dark with, um, with some gray green tinge. Now the, there's brown and green cleared like a dark, you know, still to the dark side. It's not like bright, it's not like bright, um, verdant green. This is, but it's definitely got a green tinge with some brown. I have the weird guess that I've been sitting on is weird because I wouldn't think you would age oh, a tea like this. This is so thin. Yeah. Did you smell this? Mm. The the hot leaf. Just open a little bit. Don't open that too mm. I mean, early to or too. It's mm. really handy that mm. you guys. Tuck I can nose. tuck my nose right, right, right in. in the guy one. <laughs> it's not recommended in a more public tasting, but we're family, so I can get away with it here. And I really want my schnoz in there to get all the aroma. Does it help? <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't get that Tianjian vibe you were talking okay. about initially, but if I, when I got in there and breathed deep, I did get it at the end, that woody sort of mm. campy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. dark tea-ish, but it's not dark tea. That was one of my previous straight up guesses. Uh, so I'm going to submit, I'm not going to submit an official guess, but I'm going to tell you what I'm toying with. I was thinking, okay, while you were thinking so hard on that part, I was thinking so hard on the game part. I think we can do a little like a uh, way of playing right, right, right. this, right? So what? I think I know what you're going to say, but yeah. I'm not sure. So initially you asked me, so let's say you're doing this stranger tea challenge or something like mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you know nothing. First the face is a dry leaf and you can ask the three questions, which mm -hmm, you did, mm -hmm. kind of way. I still have the third one. I still not used up. Oh, okay, great. Phase one of brewing, first infusion. You can submit your guess. 
Oh, I guess dry leaf you also can submit your guess. Right, so you get okay. a guess per phase. Dry yeah. leaf, per liquor. Phase. First infusion, you can have uh, one guess. No more questions. I just say yes and no. Okay. After three? Yeah, you have three questions right, okay. throughout the whole thing. I got to keep my third question, yes. guys. When you guess, and then I after tell that, you yes or no. Right, no, ex no extra info. Fair yes. enough. Okay. How many, I thought you were going to limit the guesses. That was what I thought you were going to say. Oh, every phase, one guess. Every infusion or every phase? Uh, dry leaf, you have one guess. Yes. Uh, first infusion, one guess. Second infusion, one guess. Okay. And, uh, and then obviously dry. The last one. Brood leaf, your final, one guess. Which, yeah, whichever you settled on. Right. Okay? Okay, okay, it works. So do you want to submit? And you can always pass. No, not not, I'm not going to pass this time. I definitely want to pass. I'm okay. going to say something really weird. Okay, okay, I wouldn't have thought this would be a tea that one would age, and maybe it's not, and it's not even close. Mm -hmm. But based on the leaf size, based on the color of the leaf, the flavors a little bit, but I'm stretching the flavors, but based on the cloudiness of the liquor, wasn't cloudy. That's a bad. Uh, wasn't turpid. I love that word. It was, mm -hmm. uh, but it had fuzz in it. So it wasn't um, like a brilliant clear like you would get in an aged chupoir or a, or, an, or a, any good oolong. That's mm -hmm. going to be really brilliant and clear. It had fuzz. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked by that. Okay. So based on these parameters, I'm going to guess that it is an aged yellow tea, which I don't think would be aged. I think this is going to be. A bad guess, but that's what I'm writing it down as um, infusion one guess. Okay. Okay. Really mm -hmm. messy. And aged. We know we know it's aged. I know it's aged. I can tell you 100%. This is an aged tea. Yellow. Commercial time. <laughs> no. That's perfect. <laughs> you ready? Don't, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, okay. Let me clean my phone. For no good reason. I don't need my phone. I'm just moody. Infusion number two. I was a little bit nervous. I was thinking if you just get that in the first one, that's the end of the video. It's not the end of the video. <laughs> we could then celebrate and talk about uh, other stuff true. and have fun. Now I'm stressed out. I'm upset. I'm, I'm not that upset. <laughs> Why are you stressed out? I just out feel this? like uh, it's really hard. Honestly, it's really hard. Yeah, this is a weird tea, mm -hmm. so maybe I need to go there next. It still has that gentle age flavor there. Just want to show the color is still pretty mm. orange, yellow, or orange. Yeah, let me have a look at that too because it's hard to see the clarity in the cup. Anyway, it didn't help me at all. Go away. <laughs> Don't be mean to your tea just because you can't guess it. I really enjoy this tea. Like it worked really well for my purpose. Which no, was, which no. Was. Sorry, I think I have it. Oh yeah? Yes, because the familiarity just hit me. But it's uh, third question time. It's third question time, folks. <laughs> Is this tea I'm so usually pressed? No. Man, I was gonna go with, is it an aged Fujuan that wasn't pressed? It tastes so much like Fujuan. Like a certain... Yeah, it has that dark tea. It has tea. that it really chocolatey, has that rich, dark yeah. tea. It's not dark tea. I gotta get that through my head. Not, big letters right on my page here, dark. It's not dark tea. Okay, I just want this to be a dark tea and my life would be normal and normal. And <laughs> what happened to your life now? My life would never be normal. Okay? Oh, the dark tea on. wouldn't help it. Okay, okay, okay. It's not dark tea. Every time you get so close, like to guess, I really feel like you, you would have guessed it. Like I was like... Ah. Let's have a look at that brood leaf, please. I guess. Oh, we're brewing? If, no. Oh, we're not. Okay, I gotta look. I I'm guess. gonna... I didn't want you to guess that so fast. Poker stick, please. I'm getting official, folks. Okay, very official. I'm gonna poke you around can keep in here. Nicely poke it. Oh, sorry. don't flick it. 
I'm just spreading it out a bit because it's all, you know, it's all crowded to one side of the guy one, mm -hmm. as is quite normal in brewing. What am I looking at? What am I seeing, right? I'm seeing these dark leaves, a little piece of stem there. They're not, um, the leaves have undergone some duress, right? They're not, they're processed. They're, some are torn, some are in pieces. Um, I have to say that you're really right. Like you're really bang on. In terms of if the... If you don't, like mm. really, if you don't look, look at look, anything... She is not just being nice, okay? This does taste like these things, I'm telling first you. First infusion tastes like Tianjin. Second infusion tastes like Fuzhuan. It has that uh, mushroomy ending. But it's not dark tea. But <gasps> it's not dark tea. Right, I'm just stumped. But it's a weird tea. It's an aged tea. And it's been processed. And I don't have any questions left. Can I phone a friend? <laughs> or cross out one selection? Right. Okay, let me think on this. Let me taste it. This is really tricky. I don't think I can... I don't know. Because I already knew it, I cannot say... Like, you... She's really good. She probably would have got it. I don't know, you were really, really close. You capture some key elements of the tea. Okay? But it's a weird tea. But it's a weird tea. I should have saved my last question to be, is, is the processing bang on or something like that? I feel like this is a, like a, a fringe tea that isn't quite done right, but has aged really well. It really is a nice sip, I have to say. Uh, still dry, not sweet. I'm really good for my digest. Yeah, nice. Like the, it doesn't strip, mm. right? Straight up telling it's, you, I didn't chose Shen Pu or some mm. Yang Shen to help me uh, digest because for me, Yang Shen was really like a meat digest. If I ate too much meat, I would use that. If I'm just a straight up stuffed, I found um, after Shen Pu, I'd like to eat again. So I kind of don't want to get in the loop of eating and drinking. Uh, that's why I chose this. Just mellow and mm. nicely help my digest. And I think it works really great. Like Chocolatey, malty, dry, dry, it's like nice a, malt feel. It really like a mixture of our Huang Da Cha, Tianjian, and uh, Fu Zhuan. Yeah. Huang, that's why I guessed it. yellow, huh? That aid, the ridiculous aged yellow guess come because it really has slightly the appearance of, if I can imagine, Huang Da Cha aged. And some of those elements too, it has that, um, that dry, similar dry element. Mm -hmm. That little bit... Um, and chocolate. And chocolatey. Mm. Whoa. I think you could stump a lot of people with this, not just me. Yeah. <laughs> So the, the amber tone is uh, diminishing. It's getting more to the gold side now, mm -hmm. straight up gold, but it's still a brilliant gold, a deep gold. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say copper, maybe bronze, maybe like a shiny clear bronze too, because mm -hmm. it's really deep for a straight up gold. Put another infusion. Put another infusion. Okay, I'm supposed to, I'm allowed to have a guess. I just finished infusion two, right? Yeah, this is infusion three. The trouble with all guess. of these guess options is I, I got nothing here. I got nothing. Don't stress right? out. Okay, you would feel like, okay, six T categories has become 600 T categories. I've only got six categories. I can't even nail it down. Oh. Oh yeah, I gotta not stress out. Okay, Maybe. it's tea time. Come it's tea time. I, it's mostly about fun, not about. I know, I know. I'm just but trying the, to. The competitive side of kind of kicking. Do you want to submit your guess too, or final guess? Anything? It's a really loose game. And it's not dark tea. It's definitely not green tea. It's definitely not yellow tea. I guessed yellow tea. White, oolong, black. That's all I got left, folks. <sighs> There's no way it's a white tea. The leaf is tiny. The flavor has no, it doesn't have an aged white flavor. Aged white becomes mellow, brown sugary, thick, luscious. It has some sweetness, 
still, although that subdues when it ages? No, it cannot be. White, green, yellow, oolong, did I admit oolong? Did we get that out of the way? No, we omitted rock tea. We didn't omit. Does this taste like our Aizhou Oolong 2002? It also has that it element, It has that, right? that's why, but I can't tell if that's the age element. That's kind of where I was leaning. I don't know if I already guessed that in the other session or not, but... Aizhou is a really interesting Oolong. And, oh, and the leaf size, it's tricky for me. Let me see those leaves. And they're so beat up. smokiness, that kind of thing has a, a little bit of shen pour when you age it yes. for some year, it has that uh, shen pour. I was even going to guess some kind of strange um, bush based shen pour or something weird like that, but uh, it's not, it's not dark tea. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I want to. I want to have a guess. What should we do? Okay. Okay. Time's up. Time's up. Three, two. You're gonna one. tell it? No, you're gonna guess it. Then oh. I give you another. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't be so mean. Okay. It's possible you get a. a okay. Up. Okay. I'm gonna give give a okay, guess. Even though I gave. Give a three, two, one. You, you do sum up for us, okay? Yeah, sum up. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Aged oolong. Is that too vague? I just want a category. I just want a category. I really want to ask you why you kick out the green tea. Oh. It's an aged green tea. I'm writing down in my book WTF. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll tell you why I kicked out green tea. I kicked out green tea for the same reason everybody out there is going, what? You can age green tea? That's why I kicked it out. I just assumed we don't age green tea, which was wrong. Now you have some splaining to do. I thought you were so close because when you absorb, absorb, I mean, ab <laughs> observe the fuzz. Observe the fuzz. I was like, the oh fuzz. My God. It was the fuzz. He's, he's going to get it because we already had a session. So he and I kind of said, okay, it's so not dark tea, right? Oh. Now how, how many teas would you? Too and excited. How many teas would have that kind of a fuzz? And he landed on yellow tea. So I was like, okay. So continue that side. Maybe next time he would. That's why every time when he gets this, I was why? like, he's not get it. I'm going to tell you why I went to yellow tea and didn't go to green tea. Because green tea, I should have gone there. It's weird. But anyway, yellow tea has that, uh, what do we say, mild oxidation. So there's a chance it could be aged. Like I feel like, okay, that might have something to, to actually work with the age. Mm. Uh, and of course, green tea doesn't have nothing. There's no such thing as a perfect kill green, but I just didn't think it would be an aged green tea. Oh my gosh, it's really tasty. And that's and why it's, it also have elements of shampooar, which is kind of related there. Mm. I don't know, and, but the little tiny leaf, it cannot be poor. Yes, I, oh my the oh, leaf it's, really- It's green tea size. Kind of a oh, green tea gosh. or yellow tea or black tea. For me, there's no, it cannot yeah, be. Yeah, you're right. Right, black tea kicked okay. out because the color is not right. No matter what, it doesn't look good. Like yeah, the liquor's wrong, the flavor's right. wrong, everything. Yeah. Yellow or green. Why is it yellow? Uh, uh, why is it green, not yellow? Because also you can, it still has that green tinge in this kind of dark brown. If you compare with a yellow tea age, ah. they still have that light, like really minor shade difference. And also when, especially, hey, Maya. <laughs> Sorry, I have a long steep. We got a social media yeah. over steep right here. But especially brood leaf. Again, it's generally, if you just glance at it, yes, it's okay. dark, it's brown. But you look underneath, it has that yellowish. It has that yellow that kind of matches its blood. Yellow, standard. see, uh, sorry, yellow. yellow. Green. I'm sorry, green. But it does have a look like a little. You know what I mean? Because it's aged, it does look kind it, of like a yellow tea too, if you're not as experienced yes, to see that slight difference in as tinge. It ages, <gasps> the leaf also turns as a shade yeah. to the redder okay. side. That's why initially it's more to the amber kind of brood leaf. Mm. Um, it's very interesting. I think on the other hand, I think the takeaway for 
you guys maybe and us too. Oh, for me, I have a big takeaway I want to share. Which is? The takeaway is this, the mistake I made, like mm -hmm. the clear thing I'm going to try and correct is, and everybody suffers from this, but I was influenced by bias, not by evidence. The leaf was yelling at me I, and I had it. I even said it. It's I little, was really, really right? proud of so you. So don't let your bias about it can't be X, Y, Z because we don't do that. That's, there's no rules about that, but there is rule about leaf size. There is rule about color. So I let my bias move my decision away from the right answer. I'm going to try to be more responding to the facts only. Mm. Mm. Yes. It's, yeah, I think that that's a good thing because you really did a great job observing and mm. I was really proud of you when you noticed the fuzz. I was like, okay, now he's going to get it. But the sometimes there's a way clock, the evidence, the thing, and uh, start to do too much of a dis yep. deduction, of yep. a far-fetched deduction, which mm -hmm. is not necessary. Maybe when we guess the final step, but the first step, the solid foundation should be observed and uh, what exactly comes out of the observation. Oh gosh, but this I, was fun. This is really fun. And I just thought you want to use this video kind of, I think it's a great introduction because in our channel, we haven't done many, uh, I mean, videos on HT, which mm. is an area that is wildly, uh, you know, misled, I would say. There's Mis a lot, yeah. lots of misinformation there. Mm. Um, key thing that you can think about or try out and taste and see uh, if you can, you will notice that yourself too is T is T. Across the category, the older the get, the similar the taste, and that's why when we taste mm. this tea, it's everywhere. It's a uh, quite old uh, green mm. tea. You know, tea is a tea. When you get age, it's uh, it really shows a lot of similarity as green tea ages as. You know, oolong ages, it really tastes like our 2002. I think you're saying the category difference, um, they, com they come back together. They all come, right. come back to they come back to their basic, their tea. Mm -hmm. And they start to converge in terms mm -hmm. of their, their flavor differences get less yes. as and, they age. Right. And you yeah. have a great question is, we don't age green tea, so that's why I kick this out. The thing is, there are things that we put that aside to age, or there are things that just left you and there your mom, to you mean. happen. Yes, like just you to can, trick me. We can <laughs> no, like uh, I mean, like white tea. We would do that on mm -hmm. purpose to age, and there right. are things like uh, old times, the old those uh, aged poor teas. Nobody was putting them aside because they age, or nobody mm. was doing that. Uh, the reason it got aged because it wasn't sold; it got stocked <laughs> and. Later right. on, it becomes something really, uh, uh, you know, popular. Right. Similar to this green tea. At that time, it wasn't consumed, it wasn't sold. That's why it's there. It's feel like it's too bad to throw it. Let's just keep it mm -hmm. and keep working on and drinking on it. And that's why it's here. There. So there's that. Really interesting. Anyway, <laughs> this was super fun. I, okay. Even though I didn't guess it again, I think I learned a lot. I like this game though. I like the it's game. Really if you like the game, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the game, give me a that. personal <laughs> thumbs up just for putting myself out here and trying to guess this, you know, you on video. Um, and then click subscribe and hit the notify. Um, and you can try the game with your friends too. Yeah. And leave us a comment if you want to see more like this from us as well. Until next time. Keep steeping. Keep steeping.